Hey guys, as you might know that in Cypress, when you run your test cases in the headless mode, you have the ability to generate videos out of the box. All you need to do is turn this flag on, okay, in cypress.json. Now that's cool. And in one of the videos, I've also shown like, you know, how to get rid of videos for the past test cases. All right, so we just keep the videos for the failed test cases. That's great, right? Now what's next? Now at times you might have realized that, you know, the videos of the failed test cases might require to be extended slightly. Why? Because once an assertion is being failed, right, there might be some changes still happening in the DOM and we would like to capture those. And also some Ajax calls are still being fired or some events are being fired, right? And Cypress captures some of these events and Ajax call, okay? So it makes sense to create extended videos for the test cases which would fail. Now how to accomplish that? Now there's a very simple trick that we are going to use to accomplish it. This is our test case which would fail. So let us execute this test case. Currently there is no video folder being created inside Cypress folder. So once we run this, a video folder would be created and a video file would be generated inside that. Okay, let me hit enter and wait for that file to be created. Okay, so the test case execution is completed. We have this folder and we also have this file. Let us open that in File Explorer and run this video file. Okay, so currently you could see the length of this is 19 seconds, okay? And this is failing at the assertion level. That's great. And that was the error, right? But you see, I mean, the moment that error was flashed, right? The video was stopped, okay? Because this is what we have captured. Now, let's extend this. So how can we extend it? So obviously, I mean, we can say, uh, let's wait for five seconds and capture that in the video, okay? But since this assertion is failing, so any code that we write, after this in this block would not be executed it would be ignored so the solution is we have to go for after each okay let's use this hook and we just say inside this cy dot wait and we pass in 10,000 millisecond which is equivalent of 10 seconds now that's fine so after each hook will give us the window of 10 seconds so we'll have 10 seconds extended video but the problem is this after each hook would get executed after each and every test case even for the test cases that are getting passed which means that this is going to slow down our execution okay so what can we do so if we can filter out that this logic has to be applied only for the failed test cases then we are good to go all right how can we do that so we have to make use of this keyword and i have already mentioned it i guess probably five seven times already in the series that this keyword does not work with fat arrow syntax that's how this keyword works in javascript okay so you have to change it so you have to say function like so and now you have got access to this keyword all right so we say if this dot okay now you have this property current test dot and you have this property again state this is coming from mocha as you could see okay and then you say triple equal to and now you have fail guys it's, it's that simple so you say if my current test case is being failed then add this 10 seconds to the video okay it's that simple so let me save this okay and run this again remember earlier the length of the video was 19 seconds Okay.
all right so test execution is completed and our video is also generated let us open this video and now we have got 28 seconds long video but i hope you get the trick right all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video